we're doing some chaga hunting today. Still three, four feet of snow in some places. And here's some chaga. It's not very big. It's real nice dark stuff though. But I am gonna take a, a little piece of it. And I'll leave the rest. I know where it's at, so we'll come back and get it later. But it's always good to leave a little bit of back. There's a piece right here, another groat right there, and another groat just a little further up. And if we were to look around, we'd find more because it kind of grows in, uh, in pockets, I find. It's very rare, but it do grow in pockets. So me and my buddy Sturge are out doing some chaga hunting and uh, for chaga tea. Anyways, we got to keep moving. You remember uh, Sturge from my from our fishing videos, troutin videos last spring. We're going to be doing some more troutin videos and he just bought a nice little camper. So we'll probably do a uh, camping and troting Adventures. Adventure sometime uh, this summer or this spring. Anyway, we're off in search of more chaga. What, what's the what's the temperature? At least do this when we're younger. What's that? What's the uh, temperature? Temperature today? Yeah. Uh, it was going up to like eleven. So it's, 11. it's probably right. Was, was it getting close to noon now? Yeah. It's nine or ten degrees right now, I'd say. Yeah, about nine or ten degrees. Nice day up here in the north. There's still, you don't even see him, he's up to his knees there. But uh, he's making a little bridge now, cheating. <laughs> but it's, snow is up to his knees. Is it like this track here? You can see where it's wet, where the, the nails uh, sifted up the sand. So it's not that old because the sand's not dried up. We're just driving along the highway here, and it's the, uh, I think it's the 3rd of May, and a bear had crossed here. So that's uh, 4 inches there, and that's 6 inches out to here. Here's the one edge of that bear track, right there. There's the other edge of the pad, and it is about just shy 5 inch pad. It's a nice bear. Here's my hand, and there's the bear. So that's close. That's a uh, over 250 pound bear, I'd say. You don't think you're gonna see them this time of year, eh, boy? No, not this time. With, with this much snow around, I mean, take a look. See what we're dealing with here. Still all kinds of snow. So this is another way to tell that you got a big bear. If you can see the way those those tracks are turning in. So he waddles. Show me Serge how he would waddle. Exactly. That's that's a good bear boy. Oh, Mr. Fox come along. Nice bear it away. Yeah. That's a beautiful pad. Are you can see my hand there or not. Yeah, I'm up through there. So the bears are out of the dens already. Probably getting flooded out. Oh, no, no, no. Extra crumbs, I'll dump in on something. Some chaga there and some deer hoof. Good haul. What do you think? It's good. It's a good day. Right on. Okay, just going to uh, cut up some chaga here tonight. Don't know if you can see that or not. But I got uh, found a good find of it today. 
so it's always easier to cut it up when it's still soft and fresh. What I'm going to do is just break it up into cubes. Chaga is very rare, only growing on average on three out of every 10,000 trees. So, uh, lots of chaga. That'll last me a month or more, a couple months. Here is the way I prepare my tea. A pot full of water set to boil on the stove. Always remember to turn the pot handles inward. I never add my chaga until the water comes to a boil. Then I turn the stove down on low and wait for the bubbling water to calm down. Then I add the chaga and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. When it is ready, I strain it into a measuring cup and add it to my thermos. Ready for work. Here's a mug uh, some of the guys that work for me presented me with when I was leaving my last job. chaga and a chaga cup. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please subscribe.